Dexter is a good example of that. Uh, so this behavior um, called a uh, high five, I actually trained Chester in about two sessions um, when he first came in uh, to our behind the scenes area here. And so basically, uh, that's a, an example of a behavior that he just really seemed to get right away. So we were working at the same speed with that one, and that's something that, that happened very quickly for Chester. Now another example, uh, same, same animal, same trainer. I am working on a behavior called a double peck wave with Chester. Uh, basically what I'm looking for for Chester is what Helen's demonstrating over there. I want him to flip on his back, swim, uh, side knee knock, and wiggle those pectoral flippers. So this is a great opportunity for you guys to see the differences between the two species, how they differ uh, anatomically, as well as it's a great opportunity for Chester to exercise his mind. That behavior involves a lot of different things, several different things mechanically going on with his body. It's a great opportunity for him to improve his coordination as he is only a young animal as well. So basically I've been circling back and forth with this behavior and the thing that took me the longest was actually to get that double peck wave movement. So let's see what we got here. Oh. There's some peg waves. Yeah, maybe not the most coordinated peg waves, but I'm still pretty proud of them. So um, that's, our, that's where, uh, yes, absolutely, um, he did a really good job. And uh, so he doesn't understand the hand signal for the behavior. So at the point that I'm at, I'm actually introducing one of the tools that we use here um, in the marine mammal trade, and it's what's called a target bowl. Uh, basically, it's got this buoy on the end, so it acts kind of like our hand. Uh, the animals are trained to touch the end of it, and that helps us to guide them in the direction that we'd like him to go, because uh, how else would I get him to swim along the dock like Helen was doing? Uh, so at the point that we're at right now, I'm going to ask him for the behavior, and I'm going to put the target pole in the water, and we'll see what we get. Remind him that he's supposed to wave his pecs. Keep going, keep waving. But, so we had some side movement of the pecs and swimming towards the target pole. Uh, so we're taking some small steps. Uh, obviously, eventually I want to fade out this target pole so that it's not needed anymore. And Chester understands that he needs to swim in that general direction without a target pole. And once the behavior is complete, it can be passed on to the other trainers. And it becomes everybody's responsibility to maintain the criteria for that behavior. And that probably... At the rate that we're going with this behavior won't be for another year or so, but, but we're working on it and it's great for Chester uh, to learn those things and to work on that body control. I'll pass it back to you, Kristen. Awesome, thanks so much, Kristen. Can we move on? Can we give a round of applause for walking us through that? Excellent. <laughs>